Hello everyone. So let's now solve practice assignment week nine question number eight, nine, and ten. An earthworm is crawling about on a sunny day. We draw coordinates axis on the ground where it is crawling, and find that the body temperature of the earthworm at a point x comma y is given by the function p of x comma y equal to 2x square plus 3xy plus y square and using the above information we have to answer the question 8 9 and 10 question 8 which of the following options are true first option is limit of x comma y tending to 1 comma 1 for the function t of x comma y is same as the limit of x tending to 1 limit y tending to 1 of the function t of x comma y so option 1 we have our function t of x comma y is 2x square plus 3xy plus y square now the limit of the function x comma y tending to 0 comma 0 sorry 1 comma 1 of t of x y is simply just putting the value here and which would give us 6 as now for limit x tending to 1 limit y tending to 1 for the t of x comma y this would be limit x tends to 1 now here we will solve this part so for that we can put y equal to 1 in the function and we will get 2x square plus 3x plus 1 and now we will solve this part so for that we can put x equal to 1 so we get 6 so both these are same so that means the first option is true second option p of x comma y is continuous at the point 1 comma 1 now it is already a polynomial function and polynomial functions are continuous and we have also found the limit by just putting the value 1 comma 1 in the function uh, so that means the limit value is equal to the function value at that point so it is continuous at the point 1 comma 1 now for the third option that is q of x comma y is a linear function that means whether it can act as a linear transformation before going to the towards the third option let's check the fourth option and the fourth option is actually one of the properties of a linear transformation option four that is t of cx comma cy same as c times p of x comma y now remember this is one of the properties of a linear transformation so now whether given our t let's put cx and cy and let's see whether it is same as or not so t of cx comma cy for our t of x comma y is 2x square plus 3xy plus y square so if we put here we'll get 2 times cx square plus times cx into cy plus cy square so we'll get 2c square x square plus 3c square xy plus c square y square we can take the c square common and we'll get 2x square plus 3xy plus y square now here this inside bracket function is same as our t of x comma y that is c square times t of x comma y so that means t of cx comma cy is same as c square times t of x comma y not c times t of x comma y and we know these two quantities are not same unless c is equal to 0 or 1 
because in that case c squared would be same as t except all in these cases t is two quantity that is p times x comma y for c times t of x comma y and c square times t of x comma y will not be same so that means this option is wrong and because this property failed that means it will not be a linear position also so this option is also wrong last option if the earth form approaches the point 1 comma 2 from any direction then the body temperature of the earth form approaches 12 degrees now we know this position is continuous that means uh, the x comma y tending to 1 comma 2 is same as just if you put the value for x equal to 1 and y equal to in the function so if we put or find the value of t of 1 comma 2 we will get 2 plus 3 into 1 into 2 plus 4 and that is 12 so that means if the approaches uh, if the earth form approaches the point 1 comma 2 from any direction and from any direction the limit would be same because the limit exists at the point 1 comma 2 the body temperature of the earth form approaches 12 degrees that is the width so this is also a correct option so question 9 now if the gradient of t of x comma y remember our t of x comma y was 2x square plus 3xy plus y square if the gradient of the t of x comma y at some point is 25 comma 18 then we have to find the body temperature of the earth form at that point so the gradient of t of x comma y is the vector of the partial derivative so the partial derivative with respect to x is 4x plus 3y and partial derivative with respect to y is 2y plus 3x and it is given as 25 comma 18 at some point x comma y let's assume at some point x comma y it is so here we can actually get some set of linear equation is equal to 18 so if we solve these two equation we will get x value to be 4 and y value to be 3 so we now just need to find the body temperature that is just t of 4 comma 3 as 2 times 4 square plus 3 into 4 into 3 3 square so 32 plus 36 plus 9 and that would be 77 and that is our answer question 10 which of the following options are true option 1 if the earth form moves parallel to the x axis then the rate of change of its body temperature at the point a comma v is given by 4a plus 3b so uh, the rate of change at uh, so we are moving in parallel to the x-axis that is I'm missing in the direction of x-axis and the rate of change is being asked in the direction of x-axis that is means the partial derivative of the function with respect to x-axis and we just now calculated before that uh, the partial derivative or oh, let's write it as t of x and this is nothing but 4x plus 3y so that was the partial derivative uh, with respect to x for the function t and for at any point a comma b it would be just 4a plus 3 so that means the option one is correct uh, our function was 2x square plus 3xy plus y square just for reference now second option if the earth form moves parallel to the y-axis, the rate of change of its body temperature at the point a comma b is given by 2a plus 3b. So the same thing, we are moving parallel to the y-axis, that means uh, in the direction of the y-axis. So we have to find the rate of change of its body temperature in that direction. That is same as saying the partial derivative with respect to y for the function t. So 
3y at some point is given by 2y plus 3x and at the point a comma b it would be 2b plus 3a so here it is given as 2a plus 3b so that is wrong now the third option if the earth worm moves parallel to the straight line joining the origin and the point 2 comma 3 then rate of change of its body temperature at the point 1 comma 1 is given by this so here we have to find the directional derivative at the point 1 comma 1 in the direction 2 comma 3 now notice 2 comma 3 is not a unit vector so we have to normalize it by dividing it by its norm so the norm of the vector would be uh, root 13 so it would be 1 by root 13 times 2 comma 3 so we have to find the directional derivative of the function t at the point 1 comma 1 in the direction of t so for that we can just simply find the gradient of the function t and the gradient was 4x plus 3y comma 2y plus 3x so we have to find it at the point 1 comma 1 would be 7 comma 5 and the direction derivative would be just times the unit vector dot product with the unit vector so that is 1 by root 13 times 2 comma 3 so that would give us 7 comma 5 dot product with 1 by root 13, 2 comma 3, 14 plus 15 by root 13, so that is 29 by root 13. And that is all it is given, so it is the correct answer. Last option if the earth form moves parallel to the straight line joining the origin and the point 0 comma 1, then the rate of change of its body temperature at the point 1 comma 2 is given by 10. Same thing, it's just that. Uh, we have to find the direction layer to now in this direction it is already a unit vector so no need to convert and the point is one comma two so we have already the gradient with us that was 4x plus 3y comma 2y plus 3x at the point one comma two it would be 4 plus 6 comma 4 plus 3 10 comma 7 now if we take the ten, dot product of 10 comma 7 with 0 comma 1 we will get 7 while it is given that it is 10 so it is a wrong option thank you